Ms. Celeste. I work for the CalFresh Healthy Living Program with Santa Clara County's Public Health Department, and today I'm going to be your nutrition educator. For today's lesson, we will be reviewing what are mixed foods and how mixed foods tie into our serving sizes. Before we begin our lesson, let's do a quick review about serving sizes. Here we have our serving size comparison chart. We use hand symbols to help us recognize the serving sizes for foods in each food group. One serving of bread is one slice of bread, which is the same as a flat hand. One serving of milk is one cup, which is about the size of one fist. Using hand symbols is a great way to visualize how much one serving looks like. Now that you all are experts in serving sizes, let's talk about what are mixed foods. When I think of my favorite dinner, it's called ropa vieja, which is a Cuban dish that translates to old clothes. Now, we don't use old clothes to make this, but we do use shredded beef, onions, bell peppers, and tomatoes in a tomato sauce with a side of white rice and black beans. Sometimes the foods that we eat are called mixed foods, which means they contain one or more serving of different food groups. Let's break down my favorite meal to see if it's a mixed food. We have shredded beef and black beans, which are both part of the protein group. I have white rice, which is a grain. Then I have tomatoes, bell peppers, and onions, which are all vegetables. In just one meal, I have three different food groups. I have protein, grains, and vegetables. In this meal, I've also had one serving of vegetables, one serving of grains, and two servings of protein. In this meal, we have three food groups all mixed in together so we can get all of our nutrients. Let's take a look at a few other examples of mixed foods. Here we have a picture of a burrito. What food groups are in this burrito? This burrito has cheese, beans, lettuce, tomato, avocado, and a tortilla. This meal has tortilla for grains, it has lettuce, avocado, and tomatoes for vegetables. It also has beans for protein and cheese for dairy. In this meal, we have four different food groups, making it a mixed food. Let's take a look at another food example. Here we have a breakfast sandwich, which has two slices of English muffin for grains, cheese for dairy, and eggs for protein. In these examples, our food groups are all mixed in the meals that we eat every day. A lot of our meals that we eat are mixed throughout the day. Let's say that we ate a breakfast sandwich for breakfast, a burrito for lunch, and ropa vieja for dinner. Now let's see if we met a recommended amount of servings for one day. Here we have a serving chart that we're going to fill out the number of servings using what we ate in one day. I do want to point out that all the foods listed above are for one serving. I had a sandwich which has two slices of English muffins, one egg, and cheese. So I placed one slice of English muffin in its own box. I placed the other slice of English muffins in its own box, both under grains. I also had one egg, and that goes under protein. For cheese, I placed cheese under dairy. For lunch, I had a burrito. Let's break down this one. I had one tortilla and I placed a tortilla under grains. I had lettuce, tomatoes, and avocado and all combined was about one serving. That's why I placed it all under one box and that goes under vegetables. The burrito also included a serving of beans. I placed beans under protein. It also included a serving of cheese. So I placed another cheese under the dairy column. For dinner, I had ropa vieja and that included shredded beef, and I placed that under protein. I also had black beans, which is also under protein. I had rice, which belongs in the greens group. I also had tomatoes, onions, bell peppers. Remember, all combined is about one serving. For snacks, I had one apple, so I placed the one apple under fruits. For fruits, we had one serving, and the daily recommended amount is two. For grains, we had four, and the daily recommended amount is six. For protein, we had four, and the daily recommended amount is two. We were almost there for fruits. We had one serving, and the recommended amount is two, so we could add another apple or some oranges. For grains, we had four, 
and we need six, so we could add, as a snack, whole grain crackers or another serving of rice. Now, I had water throughout the day, and for each glass of water consumed, I went ahead and I marked a box. You'll see here that sometimes we eat more than the recommended amount, and that's okay because we're trying to eat a variety of different foods from each of the food groups. Now, one question that I would always get in all of my classes is, Miss Celeste, why do we need so many grains? And that's a great question. We learned that grains provide us with B vitamins, and those same B vitamins give us our energy. And we need lots of energy when we're doing our homework, when we're learning, when we're in school, and when we're being physically active. All right, friends, thank you for joining me today. In today's lesson, we reviewed what are mixed foods, and we reviewed one day's worth of meals to make sure we have the recommended amount of servings for all of the five food groups. We learned a lot, and I hope you all had fun. Until next time, bye friends.